Hey guys, welcome back to the K-Life UTV channel. Like, subscribe, notification bell, please. We greatly appreciate it. Um, so what we got going on today, I'm super excited. We finally got uh, our Trinity exhaust that came in last week. And as you guys can tell on some of our other videos, if you guys have uh, been watching us and following us, we greatly appreciate it. But we got the Power Commander 5 install video that's up on our website and that you can see, or our channel, I'm sorry. And like I said, we put it on, haven't drove it, started it once, let it warm up um, with the stock exhaust. So now we got it all mapped for the Trinity exhaust. What we're gonna install in a few minutes, which I'm super excited. I can't wait. You, you. So um, I'll be back in a minute and show you guys what's inside this box. See you. Oh yeah, you're good. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, well, like I said a few minutes ago, got the Trinity stu uh, exhaust in today. The slip on. So let's open it up and see what we got. Super excited. And I'm the cameraman. Yep, that's a nine year old. Nine and a half year old. The other K Life member. They're nine and a half year old. On the camera today. Nine and a half, guys. I'm sorry. Nine and a half. So, but he's running the camera today. He's doing a good job. So, uh, like, subscribe, you know, give him a comment on good job. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, so, anyway, let's get back to it. Let's see what we got. Oh, God. Yeah. So, first thing we got is the parts that. This piece bolts up to the exhaust, which I'll show you on the install. Oh, actually, the muffler part, I'll show you in a few minutes. This one goes to actually your exhaust pipe that comes off the motor, which you will see in the install. So we definitely got that. Here's the silencer. Uh, I'll explain more of that on the install. Let's see what else we got. All right, we've got a couple of the the muffler uh, mounts. I'll show you once again. I'll show you uh, when we get to that part of it. Comes with two. So, we got both of those. So, we got the hardware. So it's in the hardware. Got to get out of that. Mom, look at the hardware. Directions. Well, guys, trendy as a. Uh, Top of the line exhaust, but their directions is really not directions. Uh, just tells you about the packing. You're supposed to check your packing at about every 15 hours of riding. Make sure you stay on top of that, guys, because if you run into Power Commander or anything and your packing starts to go bad, and it's, you, when you map it to that exhaust, your packing starts going bad, it's going to throw off the fuel ratio and stuff like that. So, and it's going to might run a little different. So, definitely stay on the packing. That's a, you know, anybody's done any kind of racing will tell you, you know. Keep an eye on your packing. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, but the direction, as you can tell, isn't much. Mm -mm. Absolutely isn't much. So, anyway. With that, it comes with your spark arrestor. Your new exhaust brackets. That's going to be for the front of the exhaust. For the rear exhaust. Which I'll show you on the install. And it comes with all your nuts, bolts, and washers. Which we got. Alright, I almost grabbed the most important one. The, yeah, you did. The exhaust. Yeah. yeah, the actual exhaust part. So let's see what we got going on here. Look at the bubbles on those things. We well, didn't package it pretty well. That's a good so, thing. So then we got the Trinity Stage 5 exhaust, is what I'm running on ours. Like I said, it's mapped to it. Uh, the Power Commander 5. It's in one of our other videos of installing that. If you guys are interested or need a little help or uh, need some pointers, give us a message and I'll do what I can to get back to you guys and let you know how to, that works and help you along the way. But anyway, this is what we got. This is all our hardware right here. Everything seems to be there. Like I said, I have to count the bolts. We'll find out for sure when we go to the rest of the install. It did give us a sticker that I'll be putting on the side by side next to all our uh, other advertisement we're going to have going on. And uh, see you guys. All right, guys, we're back. We're ready to do this install. This is what we got going on. I got all the tools set out, so I will tell you the sizes. Um, like I said, it's a training install, stage five. I did a little view of it. It's really put together nice, um, solid. So I hope for the best and show you what's going on right now.
All right, guys, we're going to break it down real quick. We're going to install this Trinity Stage 5 exhaust on a KRX 1000. So, this side right here, up here on this mount, you got to take this mount off. Okay. You got a mount back here, you have to take off these two bolts. And you have a mount down here, you have to take off these two bolts. Right here. There's a bolt there, and a bolt down there. You go right straight up from that one, you get a bolt here. A bolt here and you got a bolt here and a bolt here and then you got to do your flange bolts that's what holds the muffler on the stock muffler on right here there's four of those all right i'm gonna tell you the size of these right here are 12. you gotta have a, a wrench 12 mil, mil 12 millimeter wrench is what you're gonna need okay so that fits those all right on this upper mount right here you need a 14 socket with a long extension okay is that one okay on these back mounts this top mount right here and these bottom mounts we talked about i'm pretty sure it's a 12 too let me double check guys yep it's a 12 millimeter too fits perfect have a little extension on it three to drive is what we're using all right so let's get let's get this baby put together on that part so let's go ahead and grab our 12 millimeter which guys i ain't gonna lie to you i went ahead and broke all my bolts loose okay so get a 12 millimeter, you break all these loose, there's four of them. Save all your hardware, because you're gonna have to use some of your bolts on putting these new brackets on. And I'll show you when we get there. Probably just 12 millimeter. You might be able to use a socket on this to make it faster for you guys, but for video purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'd like to be here what's going on. Them loose, you can probably switch them. Maybe you can twi twist them off with your fingers if you're lucky. <clears throat> Once again, that's 12 millimeters. We got one down here in the back, too. Again, guys, keep this video short and sweet for you. Get to the point. I know it kind of sucks watching the video, a whole bunch of talking and wrenching. So, further I'm gonna go ahead and put another bolt back on guys so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys hear it with the stock exhaust on it because everybody asks I almost forgot about that and that's important so let me walk around and fire it up the stock exhaust real quick and this is a cold start That's with the cold start. I don't want to let, let it get too hot because we are taking the exhaust off. I don't want to burn my hands. <clears throat> but yeah, when you guys do this, make sure your, your motor is cold so you don't burn yourself. I mean, I'll be obvious, but yeah. some people might try it. <clears throat> so pretty much back to just taking these nuts off real quick. 12 millimeter, once again. Those are done. I'm gonna jump and grab my 14 millimeter, get this top uh, buffer mount off. Which, like I said, guys, we already pre loosened ours up, so just a video purpose to make it faster. But you know, you got your three eighths bracket, that's how you get it out. Normally, like I said, ours is pretty sweet and smooth, so we're gonna knock them out real quick. Save your bolts because you will have to use some of them again. 
of other stuff. So we'll go back here, grab our 12 mil millimeter and our, our ratchet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bottom out, out first. Because we don't got nothing else holding it on in case it wants to swing or something. We'll get our fingers, we'll be up here at the end when it wants to drop. Six, 12 meter, millimeter. Mm -hmm. Nice and loose. Get these bad boys out. And this is actually a real fast install, guys. It ain't, it ain't real bad. I mean, Trinity don't give you good instructions, but I mean, it's not too bad, really. Remember, save your guys' uh, old hardware. and give you guys a good view of what's going on. We got two bolts of this top mount to it, the muffler mounts. Get loose enough, maybe you can take them off like this. We've got a flip and spin them out with our hands. Bad boy should be ready to pull off, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, and it is heavy. That's at least 20 pounds. Alright, guys, that's the stock muffler. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm gonna save that because you never know what the long run brings. You might want to have to put it back on for some weird reason or just want to go back to stock. So, um, I, I'm gonna save mine. So that's what it looks like without the without the stock muffler on open pipe. Here's your flange. So like that, the new pipe will go here. Like this one, we get all the brackets and stuff on. But before we get there, let's go back over to the table. We're gonna start with this one, and this one will bolt up right here, guys. Just like that. All right, so. So let's get the hardware to get out of the package for that. Oh, I'm sorry. We're using these. I'm pretty sure these are the sizes. Like I said, they don't tell us in the directions, but that's what I'm going to go with. So um, these are actually. Uh, 3 sixteenths, I if I'm mistaken, yeah, okay. 3 sixteenths Allen head on this side, okay. And the nuts are 13s, 13 millimeters are the nuts. So that's what you'll need for that. You'll need a 3 sixteenths and a six millimeter, okay. So, Put two in it like that, guys. When we pack over here the flange, I'm gonna have one nut in my hand. Like that. Got it through. And these are actually lock nut lock nuts. So uh, you really don't need don't have much room for to put a washer or anything on it, guys. So I'm gonna go with the nut and just uh, without nothing behind it. And so you put that one on, just continue doing that all the way around it, guys. This. Maybe. Maybe the back one on. All right. All right. Get a little bit more. Put in. One back side on the back right here. You got to put in four all together.
we got that on. Let's go ahead and get that tightened down real quick. It's the five six or three sixteenths guys and the thirteen, like I said. Guys. I'm gonna tighten them up. Not much room, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. But you can do it. Pretty good and tight. Yeah. Alright, got this one. I'm just tighten down real quick. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep my big head out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna... That's just good and tight. Make sure you pull that down out to the... Okay, let's put it over. Let's put that out there. You gotta put <coughs> you gotta put this piece onto the onto the muffler. Okay? So it goes like that pretty much. Um, when you put this piece on, don't forget to put your spring mount to it. Okay? A lot of people will forget. I'm trying to give you guys a headache, heads up so you don't have to take it back apart. You know what I mean? The mount, there's a spring mount here, and the spring hooks to it. And hooks to the pipe and keep them together, okay? Alright, so I am gonna use uh, the, the provided lock uh, washers with these and this. So you pretty much put it in there like that, guys. Okay, get down. It is the 3 16 Allen. Get her snug down good. But before you snug it down, make sure you put another bolt in on this side or you guys are probably fighting it. So pretty much just continue on that all the way around it. I'm gonna jump across here guys, get lined up. Alright. Try to speed this up for us guys. Alright, you can go ahead and snug those down just a little bit if you like. That's what I'm gonna do, just kinda make a little easier on me. Same thing, that, another lock washer. They all got lock washers, that's what I'm doing. Ooh. I'm gonna drop this one over here. That one's got a rough start, guys. I don't know. Okay. All right. Most of them went in fairly. This was a little tight, but not bad. So, all right, once you get them all in, go ahead and snug them down. Like so. Set that aside for a minute, guys. All right, let's get these mounts put on, guys. This is the mount, one of the mounts. This is the upper mount for the exhaust. And then they'll go right here, okay? Remember when I told you guys to save some of your hardware? This is the reason of it. Because you have to use one of your bolts you pulled out of that. Uh, like one of your 10 millimeters. You gotta go through that. And they give you a nut that's provided 
lock washing nut, right? You gotta use that. So you gotta come in here, get on that side, and put it together. Which is not too bad, probably. I'm hoping. Alright, here we go. Alright. So we got that one on, which you gotta tighten it up, but I'm gonna leave it loose for now. So we get the muffler and everything lined up good. And then we'll go to the bottom mount that goes down here. That's gonna be this mount, guys. Okay. Remember, you gotta use the same your hardware that you took out um, earlier. So, 10 millimeter bolts. Oh no, I'm sorry, they're 12s. 12s. That one in there. Like you said, I'm not gonna snug these up until we get the, the pipe all on. So, like, we have room to move around. Yeah, good. Alright, guys, we're like, we'll get down here on this one. Put the bolt in here, like so. Just finger tight, guys. And make sure, you know, I mean, that gives you some play on both your brackets and not your muffler. Let's go over to the muffler and get these uh, muffler mounts put on it. Alright, grab your muffler, guys, and I'll give you the muffler mounts. That are these right here. So we'll pull them out of the package real quick. Like so. And then another one out there, I guess, like this. So we'll go to that side. So we so get this one like that. Alright, so this is 900 pounds, you gotta take about a mouse like this. Okay. So that one you gotta put on first. So you can just take your pipe. This goes towards the cab, you know, and this is towards the rear, of course. Hopefully, we might have to loosen it up to slide it over. Probably will, guys. Right. Let's try it first. Nope, it's good. Okay, so push over like that over here. Slide it down. We'll slide it down for now. Okay, guys, just like that. Get your other mount. Get two of them. You pretty much do the same thing on the back. You know it goes here. It goes on, up on this mount. So, get your pipe. That's towards the cab. Crack it. Get her slide over. Just guess how deep you want to go in on it until you line it up. Mine did scratch up the cover a little bit, but it's going to get muddy anyway, guys. So I'm not really that worried about it. So you'll come up here like so. This pipe will probably go over this pipe. All right, guys. So what you have to do to get it on because it's being a pain in the butt, you're going to take this bracket back off. That's why I said don't just do it finger tight. It's gonna make it easier on everybody. So we're gonna take this bracket off. All right. Set it aside because this makes this thing's hard to get on. All right. So you gotta get these together, and you're gonna have to fight them because, they, like I said, they don't go together easy. No joke. All right. Once you get it together, what I'm going to do is I got me a little two pound sledgehammer and a piece of wood. Alright, I'm going to put them in the pipe. I'm going to put a piece of wood on the end of the pipe so I'm damage your pipe. I'm going to tap it to close up this gap. I want to get these pipes as close as I can together. It slipped over right here. Get these ball cuts. 
slide it with the Trinity kit, that, and that, and a lock washer. What kind of setup you guys want to get? Okay. And we got to get this mount together. So I just slide your mount down. So it lines up, guys. Okay. Yeah, pretty, pretty much money on that. I'm lucky I got lucky with that. I'm not going to lie to you. happen a lot of with you guys. I think I'm going to run mine the other way. I'm going to run it down this way to get a better look at it. Out of it. I'm going to put the nut on the bottom. Lock washer. And the nut. You guys. Oh, 
Oh, right, so now it's, like I said, it's past the threads of, like I thought, so we'll cut to go get your lock rail through the net. Put on the bottom of it like so. Get it started. These springs can be tough at times. I'm hoping this one ain't gonna be, but they can be. So I gotta get up in here a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can get a good view of what's going on. I'm pitching a spring for pliers. So I'm gonna hook it right here. Right, there we go. Nice and tight. All right. So let's get back here. Now, from this point on, all we gotta do is go around and tighten everything up. If you guys have followed me on the on this video, then you, you're you're to the point where I am now. Just go through and tighten all your stuff up. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to put the silencer in and the spark direction. Which, we're not going to leave the silencer in because I'm going to run it on my machine because I like it loud and I got a map for hopefully it getting out. But we are running the spark arrestor because we ride places where you need to have it. So, it's in there and I have to look it. So, it does require a 4 millimeter nail wrench. Here's a silencer. Here's your spark arrestor. So, like this right down here, the close mommy guns. So, all you gotta do is pull your four screws out. It's got one, two, three, four in your cap, your end cap. Try to make this fast for you guys. And then we'll fire it up and see how she sounds. Oops, you kind of have to lift your screws. They have little lock, lock washers on them, so make sure you don't leave the lock washer. Either. All right, two more left, guys. So let's knock these two out real quick, like this. One more. I'm gonna spin it down like that. Okay, for you guys, it's gonna use your, your silencer. Your silencer in it, it's grooved, so you gotta match what groove lets it go in flush, which I'm gonna go assume the deepest grooves is probably where it wants it needs to say that. I could be wrong, yeah, it is, that's right. And then what you do is you take your spark arrestor and you would set it on top of that. Same way. As so. Okay. Probably be easier to put it in this way, guys. So, yes, sit down there, get lined up, and bolt it down. Okay? That's really all to it. Not that hard, to, not that hard. But like I said, we're not gonna use this, so I'm pulling ours out. I'm gonna throw it in the back case. You know, we're somewhere where it could bother people. We are using the spark arrestor, so same deal. We want the line up there, or, you know, wherever it'll set halfway to the flash. Apparently, it ain't there, so maybe it's just gotcha. But anyway, put it on. I'm gonna slide ours up like that. Push the gear. And all you gotta do is put your down, head the screws back in it, put that one in first, and it's across. It's always good to go in the cross pattern. Just get it started with the cap, won't fall off on you guys. You know, if you gotta adjust it, you can. I'm pretty happy about sitting, it might not be perfect, guys, but uh, yeah, that's nice. I can handle that. And then just get the rest of your screws and put in it like so. I want to get started. Should release the start guys. Same thing on the last one. It's got your little lock washers on it. 
put it back in like this. Go ahead and get it tight down. Always tight. Get across with this one. Almost tight. Get down here. Get almost tight. Get almost tight. Get almost tight. Nice and tight. I don't got no gap on my seam, so everything's seated well. Now let's fire this bad boy up and see what she sounds like. That's a cold start. 